guys, ladies, man, Steve here, just gonna show you how to get started on Mark, the zombie have, map Shadows of Evil, because it friend. is quite a hard zombie map, but this can't be happening. with this video I'm just gonna show you the basics to teach you how to get to a higher round. So as you can see just there, just behind spawn, there is a door you can actually open and there are four parts to this map that you need to know, which as you can see on there. There is the spawn, there is the bridges, there is the boxing ring, and there is the theatre. And with each four areas, there are rituals you need to complete to open up Pack-A-Punch. And so, well in this video I'm going to show you how to get Juggernog, because that's your number one priority. And then how to Pack-A-Punch, which probably should be your number two priority. And so yeah, this is just a simple hey. video on how okay? to how to get used to shadows of evil not this isn't some epic tutorial on how to complete the whole easter egg it's just quite simple dare touch me. so as you can see i opened up the back there to the spawn and you have to complete one of the rituals like up courage. there in order to do something. one of the four to open up the pack a punch area and so the summoning key which I picked up just then, that is actually um, to do the ritual in the pack a punch. So there's really five you need to do to to open up pack a punch, but there's four you need to do to get to the pack a punch room. And so the one that I did just there, that one is for spawn. And so I just I picked up the piece to do the ritual and. Yeah, just a warning, when you pick up the pieces, these um, ghosts or these um, souls come out and try and attack you, only to ever come out, so it's not too hard, but they can be a bit intimidating. They are just like regular zombies, but yeah, make a bit of noise and can be, <clears throat> can be a bit scary if you've done it for the first time or whatever. And so, yeah, I picked up the piece just there and I run up here to do the ritual and that's literally the first part of the ritual that you've done and you need to do another four more to get to Pack-A-Punch and then the fifth one which is in the Pack-A-Punch area or the Pack-A-Punch room yeah that, that's the last one to be able to obtain Pack-A-Punch and so yeah just make sure you run around I've begun the ritual here and you can, uh, I always shoot the, the zombie souls right at the end of the ritual because that gives me points but um, yeah just a little tip you don't need to do it if you just want to get the ritual done and out of the way then yeah just run around or if you have a powerful gun and you want points then yeah you can shoot the souls and yeah it doesn't really matter it's up to you and so yeah, I'm um, going to show you this little map again. So that is spawn, that is behind me there. And the way of the bridges is to your left of spawn. And it's always to the left of spawn. And so, yeah, obviously one of the rituals is that, that way as well. If you go to the right of spawn, or the opposite of the bridges, there is the boxing ring. And I thought it was a warehouse or something at first, but... Yeah, like where there's just water everywhere and stuff. That's the boxing ring. And then if you just go straight on the opposite of spawn, that's the theatre. And as you can see there, there is a yellow bottle just there towards the theatre. That means that Double Tap 2.0 is there. Not stamina up because that's there. And towards the boxing ring, there is the green bottle, which means that Speed Collar is there. And then so towards the bridges, there is, as you can see, there on the left, a red bottle which shows Juggernaut. And the reason why I'm telling you this is because these three perks spawn in these three random locations. So Juggernaut will not always be here. Juggernaut can be in one of those three locations. But um, the one at spawn, there's no perks at spawn, so it's just three locations. How I said that there are four areas of the map, only three of them have perk bottles and that can 
randomly spurt, um, spawn perk bottles. And so as you can see here, I've gone into beast mode again. So yeah, I get a bit stuck there actually. And what you have to do to get this part of the ritual, you have to turn that on. And then you have to hit these two boxes here. But unfortunately, um, yeah, I forgot that I need to hit the second box, so I quickly go up there and turn on Jug. And um, I just realized. And yeah, you can only become the beast once per round. And so yeah, try and open up as many things as you can. Just but the the game shows you what you can and can't open up. So so it is quite easy to pick out where you need to open up. But it does help if you just know on the back of your mind. And so, yeah, as you can see, I can um, get the ritual piece just there. So, just at the end of the round, I had to become the beast again and, um, yeah, make sure that I had to open it properly this time. Made sure I had to whack it. And, yeah. And you also need to open up the ritual place as well, which I kind of get lost a bit here. and. Um, open up a different bridge instead and so yeah the next round um, you have to open up those stairs there which is um, out of your way towards anything else and once you make your way up here you need to go two floors down so I've gone one floor down here and you go another floor down here and then yeah the um, to turn on the bridge is just there and um, you know. Yeah, so this is the bridge's way, remember? So all these have the unique different ways. And, um, yeah, I um, forgot to pick up the part there, so I have to run down and pick it up quickly and then go and do the ritual. And, um, yeah, just letting you know, these ritual rituals can be done um, in any order. They don't need to be done in any specific order, just as long as... You eventually get all four of them done. They don't need to be done by a certain round. They just they can just be done whenever, however you like. But the fifth ritual, the last ritual, um, has to be done last because that's um, the only way you can get in there is by completing all four rituals on on the map, and then you go into the rift and into a, another place to do the fifth ritual. And so, yeah, I've started the one in here, and this one is quite easy to run around. There's like, there's two or nearly three different floors you can run around, so, yeah, take your pick, and, um, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I, I just find it a really easy way to get points, to shoot at the souls just before the ritual ends. And, um, yeah, once you start doing the rituals a bit more and once you start getting a bit more experience you know when they're about to end and how long you're going to take and stuff and every second ritual you do it spawns a, a magua which is the zombie boss so yeah just make sure you you take him out before you start anything else because yeah it can take a lot of concentrating trying to trying to kill him and so I've come out of the bridges just here I've gone to the opposite place to the boxing ring and yeah so this is where standing up is on this game oh, yeah in this game and um yeah so turn into beast and you can turn on the bridge just there which is yeah kind of cheeky <laughs> so yeah um the ritual piece up here is just up there, you knock it off once you jump up there. Then you literally jump all the way across like I did just there. Run down as fast as you can and try and open that up at the same time. And it doesn't matter if you don't do it all in one beast mode, you just have to wait an extra round, which, which just takes a bit longer and stuff. So it's not like it's the end of the world, it's just a lot easier to do everything in one beast mode. And, and so, yeah. Um, just finishing off this round here with these guys just make sure you keep running around and you shouldn't die because they can actually fly up to you and like bite you and hurt you in that way and so yeah I just run down here 
Why did you kill? And um, pick pick up this ritual piece. And yeah, just the the souls are really quite easy to to kill. But during the ritual itself, when they keep spawning in and stuff, then yeah, that's when most people decide to just run around rather than try and shoot them off. And so yeah, I have to open up that door and go down to the um, boxing ring down which is on the left there and yeah start the ritual and uh, this is one of the harder places to do the ritual because it is such a small room and as you can see one spawn just behind me just there but I've done Juggernaug and stuff so yeah um, I do recommend Juggernaug for this area even though Juggernaug isn't as much of a priority anymore because um, because you can survive two hits now and get downed on the third. So, yeah, it's not too bad. <clears throat> and, yeah, hopefully I've um, given you enough information on where Juggernog is. I could show you where all the perk locations are, but you'll eventually find them. Just, yeah, they're, they're not too hard to find. Just run around, keep running around in the area, open up the doors, open up the bridges, and it shouldn't be too hard. And so I'm running back now, I've, I've done my third ritual and now I just need to do one more to get to Pack-A-Punch. And so yeah, I'm running um, through in the boxing ring area, just um, coming out of it too into the middle area. And then I take a right to towards the theatre. And so yeah, this way the, the ritual is in a different place again as you can see just turn on the bridge there that's part of the easter egg you don't need to worry about that that opens up to the rift and um which you do need to open up one of the rift places um later on as well and the the part is up there so just where the perk is just there you just simply have to do a little jump up and yeah and as you can see it is literally right there when you come out of beast mode so yeah, nice easy place. And um, yeah, and so because round six just ended and round seven just started, I can go into beast mode again and show you how to open up the um, the the ritual place. And you just use your tentacle to go up there and turn that on, and that's it. So so yeah, um, if you let me complete round seven here and skip forward a bit then I can show you the ritual place which is literally the, the doors just open that's all and um, yeah run down here and this is probably I think it's the easiest place to do the ritual because yeah I think I've been down a couple of times while doing rituals but yeah and then you have to just start the ritual all over again so it's not like you have to pick up the piece or anything like that again which is good but you do lose your perks and whatever so so yeah and yeah this place is just nice and open and it just seems quite easy to do the ritual and um yeah so I've done four out of four rituals now I've done them in all places and as you can see I Earn the trophy there, or if you're playing on an Xbox or anything else, the achievement. And, um, yeah, just, yeah, make sure you kill them, of course. And, yeah, do the rituals at the end of every round because then you don't have any Marguards or anything chasing you. And so now you need to go into the rift, and there is a rift here in the theatre where I just was. And there is another rift place that you can, or that I did open at the bridges. I'm not sure if, if you saw. And once you, once you enter this place, you have to kill uh, some zombie souls or whatever they are, just souls or whatever. Guardians. I know people have a lot of different names for them. And yeah, there isn't too many. I think there's like five or something. You can go into beast mode and turn on Widow's Wine, which is right there. And then if you go upstairs, up uh, just in front of you here is Mule Kick, turn that on, 
and then yeah there's a door there which actually goes into the middle part of the map where where stamina up is that's just a part of the easter egg which i'm don't need to show you and so yeah um i don't quite remember what happened so you, yeah the door Anyone has opened just there as you can see and yeah um make sure definitely make sure you don't fall down there uh, you don't die straight away, which is nice. Um, if you're on multiplayer, you spawn back up, just revive, just um, down. And on solo, if you have quick revive, then you come back up as well. So put the gate worms down. And so every time you put down a gate worm, which is the things that you got from the rituals, a bit of the map gets built. So as you can see, I could just run along that wall there. And the wall is really easy to run on. All you need to do is jump onto it and it does the rest for you. You don't need to latch onto it, you just press X and then run towards the roll and you will automatically run along it, along it and then just press X again when you want to jump off. So yeah, it's as easy as that. And so yeah, put the summoning key um, in that middle place just there as you can see and it starts the last ritual, which um, as you'll be able to see, there are now five beams going into uh, towards the pack a punch, and so yeah, this should um, well yeah, th this will open up pack a punch. Sorry, and um, yeah. So once you've done that ritual, then the shadow man will talk to you. He'll say something, and then turn into an octopus, <laughs> and yeah, open up pack a punch for you. So. Yeah, um, and um, yeah, that's it really. Um, you now know how to get perks, and you now know how to open up Pack a Punch. And yeah, it's just that blue thing there. It's not like the traditional Pack a Punch machine or anything, it's something completely different. And yeah, the Magua only spawned then, I'm pretty sure, because it's round 8. Yeah, Magua's come every round 8, like how the Panzer did. And yeah, so so that's it. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you a lot with Shadows of Evil because it is quite a hard map to get used to. Like, uh, even though most zombie maps are like that. Yeah, um, it is just really quite a difficult map with it, even the zombie boss. Um, yeah, it took a little while for me to figure out you had to shoot it in the head to be able to kill it. And yeah, but once you get used of the once you get used of the zombie map, then it shouldn't be that bad. It shouldn't be that hard. So yeah, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If it did help you, then please leave a like. And yeah, um, I'll see you all for my next video. Stop working. Weapons appearing out of thin air? Is this Nero's doing? Ammo. I am loaded up.